good morning student today we are going to discuss about 10th unit training and sports training it is a process of preparing an individual for any event training it is usually or long term process in which we give the training in a systematic and scientific way by which the performance can be improved physical fitness physical fitness it is a uh, ability of a person to do his day to day activity without any fatigue and after doing his daily routine work he has more energy to do the work and the person who is physically fit his recovery is quick physical fitness it have four component strength speed endurance flexibility and coordinative ability this uh, five component of physical fitness are directly or indirectly interrelated with each others let discuss one by one first strength and its training methods what is strength and how we can develop our strength strength it is the ability of uh, ability of muscle to overcome resistance or it is the ability of a person to overcome resistance strength means the amount of force a muscle can exert against a resistance strength it is of two type static strength and dynamic strength static strength means ability uh, ability to overcome a resistance from a single position there is no movement the person has to overcome the resistance from a single position from a one position for example pushing a wall when you push the wall you you use the force but there is no movement it is also known as isometric strain static strain is also known as isometric strain there is no movement iso means same metric means length so in isometric means same length the length of the muscle remain the same dynamic strain dynamic strain means the ability to overcome the resistance uh, while in motion you have to overcome the resistance under the condition of movement dynamic strain it is of three type maximal strain explosive strain and strain endurance maximum strain it is the ability to act against maximum resistance means the greatest force that is possible to overcome the resistance for example weight lifting you have to overcome maximum resistance and it is measured through through attempt power lifting etc explosive strain explosive strain it is a combination of two word strain and speed so explosive strain means the person has to overcome the resistance with high speed for example jumping activity he has to overcome the resistance with high speed and explosive strain it can be measured by dynamometers or by jumping activity strain endurance strain endurance it is a combination of strain and endurance in strain endurance the person has to overcome the resistance under the condition of fatigue the person is in a fatigue condition then also he has to overcome the resistance for example long distance running swimming road cycling etc these are the strain endurance the person has to uh, strain endurance means ability to overcome the resistance under the condition of fatigue now <clears throat> training methods for strain development how you can develop strain there are three methods to develop strain 
isometric exercise isotonic exercise and isokinetic exercise isometric isometric exercise this exercise is introduced by hittingers and mullers in 1953 isometric it is uh, it is a combination of two words iso and metric iso means same and metric means length so in isometric exercise the length of the muscles remain the same during the workout there is no move there is no movement in the uh, length of the muscle the uh, the length of the muscles remain the same therefore there is no visible movement and the work done is zero because the length of the muscle remain the same you are using the force but the length of the muscle remain the same so in this there is no visible movement therefore the work done is zero for example pushing the wall you are using the force to overcome the resistance but there is no movement there is no visible movement what are the advantages of isometric exercise the first advantage is this isometric exercise it can be performed anywhere because any wheels and no helper is required to do isometric exercise isometric exercise less equipment is required as in isometric exercise uh, immovable object are used and less time is required to perform this isometric exercise um, help to develop static strength maximum strength etc and this isometric exercise it can be performed by the injured player also in the uh, under the care and precaution disadvantages of isometric exercise the first disadvantage is this isometric exercise only develop the static strength but in most game dynamic strength is required and this isometric exercise it only develop the static strength isometric exercise as more pressure is required more pressure is used more force is applied therefore this exercise uh, increase the blood pressure so a uh, heart patients are not recommend uh, recommended to perform this exercise in this isometric exercise there is less variety of exercise therefore after a few days the person lose their interest because mm, there is less variety of activity in isometric exercise isotonic exercise isotonic exercise it is introduced by de lorne in 1954 isotonic it is a combination of two word iso tonic iso means same tonic means tension so in isotonic exercise um there is a, a same tension in the muscle the muscle group has same tensions along with movement there is movement the length of the muscle changes and there is there is a visible movement in isotonic exercise uh, we can see the movement the length of the muscles uh, changes shorten and lengthen during the uh, workout like jumping lifting uh, weight etc isotonic exercise it is of two type concentric and eccentric concentric means upward movement in concentric upward movement like lifting the dumbbell upward in concentric uh, exercise um, there is um, um, the flexor muscles shorten and the extension muscle lengthen means 
the size of the uh, flex the size of the flexor muscle becomes short and the size of the extension muscles length bicep muscle is known as uh, flexor muscles look at the image here in this the this is flexor muscle the uh, the length of the flexor muscles becomes short and the um, extension muscles the uh, length of the extensors muscles become length increase in eccentric exercise of uh, eccentric exercise it is opposite of concentric exercise in eccentric exercise it is downward movement for in eccentric exercise um, the length of the flexor muscles increase and extension muscles decrease means flexor muscles become lengthened and extension muscles become short uh, here this flexor muscle the length of the flexor muscles become short and the length of the extension muscles uh, become long okay in opposite um, uh, this is um concentric and eccentric concentric upward movement eccentric downward movement concentric uh, flexor muscle the length of the flexor muscle becomes short and extension muscles become long in extensions it is downward movement um it is downward movement um, eccentric it is a downward movement therefore the length of the uh the length of the flexor muscles become uh increase and the length of the extensions muscle become decrease short next is um advantages what are the advantages of isotonic exercise isotonic exercise it's hard to develop dynamic strength and in most game dynamic strength are required isotonic exercise uh it bring hypertrophy of the muscles the the mass of the muscles become uh, uh the there is gain in the uh muscles gain mass along with thickness in isotonic exercise the flexibility of the muscles uh increase the flexibility improve and isotonic exercise it's help in developing the explosive strength as well as strength endurance and the disadvantage of isotonic exercise is in the chance of stress and tensions are more if we um if we perform without doing warming up that is uh, uh there is a chance of injury in isotonic exercise and so sometimes the equipment are required in isotonic exercise isokinetic exercise isokinetic exercise it is introduced by perrin in 1968 isokinetic it is a combination of two words iso and kinetic iso means same kinetic means motion so in isokinetic exercise there is same motion there is same movement uh, along with there is same movement in the muscles that is there is um, there is continuous tension in both flexor and extension muscles simultaneously okay in isokinetic exercise there is same tension uh, there is movement continuous tension in both flexor and extension muscle for example cycling swimming etc the advantage of um, isokinetic exercise is it's help in developing static as well as dynamic strength this isokinetic exercise it is useful for every game and sports this isokinetic exercise help to improve endurance as well as strength and uh improve the all type of strength 
explosive strain, maximum strain, strain endurance, etc. And the disadvantage, the main disadvantage is special equipment are required in uh, special equipment are required to perform isokinetic exercise and isokinetic exercise it should be performed under the observation and the chance of injury is more in isokinetic exercise these are the uh, three types of methods to uh, improve the strength isometric exercise isotonic exercise and isokinetic exercise let's do a quick revision uh, isometric isometric it is introduced by hittingers and mullers isotonic it is introduced by delone and isokinetic and it is introduced by the padin in isometric there is no visible movement the length of the muscles remain the same isotonic there is visible movement the length of the muscles uh, change there is tension in the muscle and isokinetic there is visible movement there is uh, same tension in the um, there is movement simultaneously movement in both flexi and extension in isometric no or less equipment is required. In isotonic, equipment are used and in isokinetic, special equipment are used. Isometric, it is, there is no type. Isotonic, isotonic it is of two types. Concentric exercise, eccentric exercise. Concentric exercise, that is upward movement. Examples, lifting the dumbbell upward. Eccentric means downward movement for example lowering the weight downward and isokinetic there is no type in isometric more pressure that is maximum pressure tremendous pressure over the muscle isotonic average pressures and isokinetic high pressure over the muscles isometric uh, no change in the length Isotonic, the length of the muscle change and in isometric, isokinetic also, the length of the muscles change. These are the different between isometric, isotonic and isokinetic. Next is endurance and its training methods. <clears throat> endurance. Endurance is the ability to sustain a continued activity means ability to resist fatigue. means endurance means the ability of a person to continue an activity for a long period of time under the condition of fatigue if the person is able to do the activity for a long period of time it means he has a good endurance for example endurance is mainly required in um, mainly required in game uh, long distance game like uh, marathon uh, cycling etc endurance it is of two types aerobic endurance and anaerobic endurance aerobic endurance it is also known as short term endurance or muscular endurance aerobic aerobic mm, anaerobic 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 means uh, in the absence of oxygen, the person has to do the activity in the absence of oxygen. In an aerobic endurance, um, we have to perform the activity with high speed. An aerobic endurance, it is of two types, speed endurance and strength endurance. Speed endurance means ability to resist fatigue with high speed. Our speed is more, the intensity is more and the distance is less. The endurance, it is for short duration, that is for 30 seconds to 60 seconds. For example, swimming, 400 meter running, etc. We have to, uh, we have to, um, uh, 
resist uh, fatigue with high speed and strength endurance in this the activity is done uh, forcefully for shorter duration strength means power so we have to um, uh, we have to do the uh, activity activity is done powerfully forcefully for a short duration that is for approach 2 to 3 minute for example wrestling boxing etc and aerobic endurance aerobic endurance aerobic means in the presence of oxygen the person do the activity in the presence of oxygen in aerobic endurance the length of the length the duration duration is more and the speed is less okay in aerobic endurance the activity is done for a long durations whereas the intensity the speed is slow for example marathon running road cycling long distance running etc these are the two types of endurance endurance means the ability to do an activity for a long period of time without fatigue it is of two type aerobic endurance and aerobic endurance aerobic endurance means the person has to do the activity for long period of time and the speed is slow and aerobic endurance and aerobic means in the absence of oxygen in this and aerobic endurance the person has to do the activity for short durations and the intensity the speed is more there are three methods to develop uh, three methods to develop uh endurance uh that is continuous training methods interval training methods and fatleg training method these are the three methods which help to develop endurance continuous training methods continuous training methods in this training methods the person has to perform Uh, the activity for a long period of time without having uh, rest without having um, rest in between the workout because uh, because in continuous training methods the activity is done for long period of time uh, the intensity is low okay in continuous training methods we do the activity for long period of time without having any break in between the workout continuous training methods it is of three types so it is of uh, three types slow continuous training methods fast continuous training methods and variable continuous training methods slow continuous training methods the exercise is performed in slow uh, in slow continuous training methods exercise is done at certain speed slow speed without any break for a long duration the speed is determined according to the heart rate okay in slow continuous training methods uh, this is basically used in long distance running like cross country marathon running etc in this slow continuous training methods it is usually Uh, the workout is done for approximately one to two hours, uh, one to two hours, and um, distance distance is twenty, uh, distance is ten to twenty kilometers, and our heart rate is kept around one forty to one seventy beats per minute, and our speed is approximately fifty to seventy percent. of the maximum activity slow continuous training methods it's help to develop aerobic endurance okay slow continuous training methods help to develop aerobic endurance because in this our speed is slow and the activity is done for a, a long period of time fast continuous training methods and fast continuous training methods 
we do the activity with high speed it is uh, mainly used in sprint middle distance running etc uh, the workout is done with fast speed and the duration is around 15 to 30 minutes and the distance is 5 to 10 kilometers and we keep our heart rate around 160 to 200 beats per minute and the workout is 70 to 90 uh, persons of our maximum ability fast continuous training methods helps to um uh, the intensity of workout is very high for a long duration therefore we should perform uh, proper warming up before doing the activity and uh, uh, cooling down after performing the activity last is variable continuous training methods variable continuous training methods it is a combination of slow continuous training methods and fast continuous training methods in this variable continuous training methods um methods uh, we keep changing our speed that is sometimes we um do the activity with maximum speed and sometimes our speed is slow so variable continuous training methods we kept uh we kept uh the distance around 10 to uh, 15 kilometers and our heart rate is 140 to 200 beats per minute and the speed is 40 to 100 percent of our ability in the beginning our speed uh the workout is fast as the fatigue increase this workout is slow continuous training methods uh let's compare this three uh training methods three continuous training methods slow continuous training methods fast continuous training methods and variable continuous training methods slow continuous training methods we keep the distance is 10 to 20 kilometers that is across 1 to 2 hours fast continuous training methods the distance is 5 to 10 kilometers and in variable continuous training method the distance is 10 to 15 kilometers heart rate our heart rate is 140 to 170 beats per minute in slow continuous and fast our heart rate is 160 to 200 and in variable continuous training methods our heart rate is 140 to 200 beats per minute slow continuous training we should practice once in a week because we do the activity for a long period of time fast continuous training we should do the activity for approx twice in a week and in variable continuous we should perform uh, once or twice in a week slow continuous training method it is good for long distance running fast continuous training method is good for middle distance running and variable continuous training method it is good for almost all games and sport in slow continuous training methods our fatigue is high in fast continuous our fatigue is very high because we do the activity with uh, maximum speed and in variable continuous our fatigue is high this is the different um, between the slow fast and variable continuous training methods and continuous training methods means we have to do the activity continuously for a long period of time without any break in between the workout next is interval training methods interval training methods this interval training methods helps to uh, develop endurance in this training methods we do the exercise uh, uh, we do the exercise with 
uh, interval incomplete rest in between the workout that is workout rest workout rest we follow the principles of effort and incomplete recovery in between the workout okay this we will uh, discuss in our next video